What's up guys, Cameron Abel here with another tutorial on how to port forward for Origin. And yes, that is the program for gaming that includes games like SimCity and Battlefield 3, Mass Effect 3, and a bunch of other games that end with 3. Um, anyways, this is going to help fix lag so you don't get killed or you don't miss out on something while you're playing in SimCity. So, first of all, we're going to go to a web browser. I'm going to go to Firefox because it seems like Internet Explorer does not want to work correctly today. Um, we're going to go and go to the web address tier network, which is usually 192.168.1.1. Click enter. It'll come up with a login. Usually the login is going to be admin, and the password is going to be 0000. Or something like that. You can check on your main, uh, your router's manufacturer's website to see what the default login is. Or if you can't log in with the default login, then that means someone in your household has changed it. So I'm going to log in. And this message always comes up. Just ignore it. That is not supposed to look like that. And refresh. There we go. Um. Now we're going to want to go to application and gaming, and you'll come up to a thing called port, uh, port single port forwarding. And in the first field, you want to type in origin and put the number one at the end because we're going to have a lot of these because there's a lot of ports we have to forward. So the external port is going to be 80, and the internal port is going to be 80, and put the protocols both and you need to find out what your IP address is so what you can do is you can go to your search bar either in the start menu or in the charms bar and type in CMD so you can get command prompt open it up and in command prompt you want to type in IP config my bad and then you want to scroll up until it says IPv4 address and then you want to remember the last three digits, which is mine's 103. So in the two IP address, you want to type in your IPv4 address. And then you want to click Enabled. Next one down, you want to go to Origin 2. Type in 443. And again, 443. Both. And your IPv4. Next one, Origin three one eight zero 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 one eight zero 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 both one oh three and check next one is origin four and it will be one eight one two zero one eight one two zero both one oh three and check origin Five one eight zero six zero one eight zero six zero both one oh three and check origin six two seven nine zero zero two seven nine zero zero both one oh three and check origin seven Two eight nine one zero two eight nine one zero both your IPv4 address and check origin eight two nine nine zero zero and two nine nine zero zero both your IPv4 address and check. So there's a total of eight on the single port forwarding page. Once you have all that entered in, you want to click Save Settings and click Continue. And then for the port range forwarding, because we're going to have to range of multiple ports at the same time. So I'm going to click on Port Range Forwarding. And in the field, you want to type in Origin. And I'm going to put it by nine because it's the ninth port that I've done. The start port is going to be 1024, the ending is going to be 1124, and then the two IP address is going to be your IPv4 address again, and click enabled. 
and then the last port that or port set of ports we have to forward is going to be the starting port at 9960 and the ending port at 9969. Set it on both, put your IPv4 address in, and click check. Click save settings and continue. So now as you see, if you go back and forth between the two, you'll see that all your fields are entering, hopefully correctly. And you should see some bit of change in your gaming, or you can do this in any other applications as long as you know the ports. And so far, when I've used Origin, I haven't really seen much of a difference because I have a pretty high internet connection. But most people who don't have very quick internet connections can do this as a way to speed up their gaming. But after doing this for you all, um, please give me feedback and see if it changed any for you all. And I think that's it. So um, see you in the next tutorial or next video.